Um, hi, I'm, I kind of throw this video in here uh, in the middle just because I did the tool palettes last. Uh, there's a palette up here that's not available when you install advanced steel, um, but it is useful. So if you just type in EXP, I guess we have to go a little further, Express Tools. So just click on this and you'll see advanced steel is working. Now if you go up the top, you have a new tool palette up here. It's like, oh, what's this? So there's a lot of stuff here, the brake symbol, there's other things that I haven't used, annotation attachment. But the one thing I do find useful is that I can now explode text. So if you have, uh, let's say, Let's say we draw a rectangle here. And let's do some text. And let's just write. I guess what else can we write? We'll just write AirCAD. I don't know if it's going to fit. Nope, of course it won't fit. So we'll stretch this over. So now you can say, well, what's the use of this? So what I can do is. I can now come back here and go to objects and I can create a plate from a polyline. So I'll select this polyline. Why don't we make this half inch plates fine? Now, if we want to explode this text, you need to be careful because you can't just explode it here. If I go back to the express tools and go to pick the text first, sorry. And Go to explode. Uh, view needs to be in plan. So if you have any issues, just make sure you ref refer to your command line at the bottom. Now I like to have this here, and I also like it to be about three lines high. So like there somewhere. So just so I can see, and you know sometimes I'll drag it up. Uh, so now we have the text. So now we're going to go to the top view. Let's come back down. Let's select the text and let's modify the text and explode it. And you can see it has exploded that text. So now, instead of me drawing lines, I can now choose these items. Now you might have some issues with some of these points, but you can see it's still useful if I come in here and I go to my features and I do this one here. Is it this one? polygon contour and please identify the plate that is the plate and then right click polylines and if I select I'll select the two simple ones first and that's okay and that hasn't worked so let me see what has happened so hmm, interesting I don't even know what this is it seems to have brought the letters out that way for some reason not sure why that is. My Y direction is this way. So I guess maybe I'm, maybe I haven't used it in a while. Maybe it's extruding this through the X. That doesn't make any sense. No, that doesn't make any sense. So let me try put it here. And let's just see what happens when I do this. Interesting. So it's dragging it out that way for some reason. So now if I reset this back, put it on this corner, and let's go to features. Right, so I use this one, which is the one I usually use, because I'm not familiar with clicking on this, so I'm not sure why I picked this one. So I picked the top one. Uh, not sure what I was thinking. Now, to be fair, these ones, when you click on it, it says, please identify the object. So this covers a lot of objects. These ones here, they um, cover beams, and these ones here cover plates. So don't use the one on the bottom, use the one here. So let's do it again. 
select the player to be modified select the polylines and let's see there may be some errors in here between these but let's have a look and see sometimes they work and you can see this didn't work properly here so it has not cut out this one so maybe that's not a, a polyline properly so let's just try it again and everything else is cut apart from that one right no this r the bottom of the r so we can try one more time maybe it's probably i just maybe didn't select it properly so let's try again plate Please delete the latest coping object. So there, it's having an issue with that for some reason. So let's just see if we delete them all. No, I didn't want to delete that right now, obviously. So let's back it up. All right, so let's go to the top view. And let's see if this helps any. Polylines, select the plate. Right click, polylines, select all your polylines. So it still doesn't like this one for some reason. It's showing that it's cut, but it's not actually cut through the plate. So anyway, you'll have issues like that with some of them. It's It shouldn't be a broken polyline because it shouldn't make the cut at all. But uh, it seems to be showing that it's making the cut. But anyway, you get the point. The whole idea is to use that you can use these other tools here. You can import style, export style. And, you know, I don't really use much here, to be honest, Chad. I, I do use this explode text for DXF files if somebody wants writing up plates or something like that. All right, hope that helps. Till the next time. Uh, next time, I think we're gonna be covering management tools. So it's probably gonna be a longer one, maybe 20 minutes, half hour, something like that. All right, take care.